Hi guys, Harry here from the Art Gear Guide. Thanks very much for joining me. Uh, as you can see here, I have a, a review of the uh, Van Gogh uh, colored pencils. Now, these pencils, um, I heard about these pencils quite a long time ago uh, from very hi highly regarded, highly respected uh, artists within the color pencil community. Um, and I heard a lot of really, really good things about them, that type of thing. So I was really, really interested to get to get hold of them and do a review uh, on the channel here for you. Um, they're actually made by Royal Talents, which Royal Talents was kind of like merged or taken over by Securi, the Japanese company. Now, Royal Talents was originally uh, in Holland, a Dutch company. Um, if you remember, I'd done a review of uh, another set of pencils that they do, the um, Brunzel, Brunzel Design set. Uh, I'll have a link for those down below in the comment section or in the description section if you want to go across and take a look at that. I have a couple of the other sets of uh, Brunzel type pencils to review uh, and I've had those for quite some time. I've only recently got hold of these. Um, and I pushed them to the front here to, of my kind of like review list because I really wanted to get these done and get these out for you. Um, primarily because of w what I have been told about them in the past and that type of thing. So anyway, here they are. This is the 60 set. Now this is the, the largest set that they, they do. That's uh, perhaps one of my first criticisms about them. Um, that there's that there's only 60 they come in a set of uh, 12 24 um, 36 and then 60 now they are they are not the easiest pencils to source they're difficult to find on Amazon um, I've occasionally you will find them on Amazon when I was getting links um, for you to have a look at over on the art gear guide and stuff like that on the uk amazon site i could only find a 12 set and a 60 set and the us site i could only find um i think it was a 24 set and a, and a 36 set uh, in in the european amazon site i could find all of them which kind of makes sense given that they are a dutch company um but so so that is that is going to be a problem if if you at the end of this re review you kind of think to yourself well, I'd really like to get hold of those uh, it it is going to be slightly a problem finding the sets now in terms of open stock availability well we're quite lucky here because um they never used to sell them open stock but they do now and you can find them on Amazon open stock again it's it's a little bit hit and miss with that but um Failing that, if you go to um, the Coloured Pencil Shop, I'll have a link for that down below. That's run by uh, Emma Keridich, uh from Elgi Wild Art. She has uh, she runs a fantastic store, uh, online store, where you can purchase open stock pencils. Uh, she sends them to you. Um, great service, fantastic prices. Um, and the this set of pencils or th this particular pencil range here is one of the ranges that she does open stock so so you've either got the choice of going to Amazon or going there uh, and they're the only two places at the minute that I can find that do these pencils open stock I had a look around I couldn't find anywhere else uh, so at the minute they're the only places so let's uh, open the, the tin here and we'll have a look at the actual pencils okay um, now, one of the big things that I kept hearing about these pencils was their light fast ratings. How the, the light fast rating is really good. Um, but I will leave you to be the judge of that. So let me show you the actual pencil first of all before I get into the actual uh, light fast ratings. So it's got a 3.8 millimeter uh, core. In an eight millimeter barrel as you can see here the barrel as you can see down at the bottom there, the barrels indicate the pigment color on the end of the pencil here there's kind of like a three-quarter inch blue flash 
Uh, all the pencils have that blue flash. Um, they also do, the, the, in this Van Gogh range, there's actually, um, or Van Gogh, whatever way you want to pronounce it, uh, they also do uh, a pastel pencil and a watercolour pencil. They all look very similar, except for these little flashes on the end. I think the pastels have like a, a beige flash, and then the watercolour have like a silver flash on the end. So that's kind of how you can tell them apart. Uh, on one side of the barrel here, you have uh, the Van Gogh name. Uh, then further along from that, it just says colour. Uh, the reason why it says that is because obviously... If you happen to have the pastel range and the watercolour range, uh, like I say, they all look quite similar. So when you're picking the pencils up, uh, these ones just say colour because they're coloured pencils. The watercolour ones say watercolour and the pastels say pastels. Uh, you have the, the pigment name here. Um, and th this goes back to what I've been saying about um, when, when people get... Um, upset about the names not being on the, the pencils with the exception of people that are colorblind because I would imagine if you're colorblind and you're doing art having the, the pigment names is really important but the, these companies they, they all have so many different names for different colors and um, I think this Van Gogh range really kind of highlights that um, I'll, I'll have a swatch over on the art gear guide website so you can click on that and have a look at the names of the the pigments and you'll probably see a lot of pigments there the you know them as a different name uh, so further along from there we have um the light fast ratings on the pencils now the light fast rating is done with the astm um the american standard light fast so it's done out of three stars and um so the pencils, instead of stars, they have plus signs, uh, but it's a, you know it's the same thing. And then beside that, they have an open stock number as well. And then on the other side of the uh, pencil, it has Royal Talons, Holland, and then there's a barcode and, and a, a serial number. But if we turn back over here and we look at the light fast issue a bit about this as well. So out of this set of 60, um, 26 of the pencils are 3 star and 34 are 2 star. So I'm going to leave that up to you to determine whether you think that's um, a good light fast rating. Uh, bearing in mind, but if I'm not mistaken, I think the 3 star is representative of 150 years in terms of before the colour starts fading away. The two stars about a hundred, and then the one star is obviously less than that. So you you tend to find that a lot of color pencil artists, will, if when they get a set of pencils, uh, especially if it's going by the ASTM standard, they'll only use a two star or three star pencil, preferably three star. But two they they will drop down to a two star because uh, obviously if you're doing a commission for somebody, a hundred years is pretty much going to be their lifetime. So. Um, but like I say, I'll leave that up to you to determine whether you think that's a good light fast ratio between the pencils. Um, now, I, I did do um, some uh, like a, a small piece of artwork with these pencils. When I first got them, I was over the moon with how they're kind of they're a wax based pencil, right? The core is it's it's a really strange uh, feeling using them because. Some of the some of the pigments are, are nice and soft, and then there's others that are harder, uh, if that makes sense. You would almost think that you're using two different pencils sometimes as you're as you're going through the, the, the different colours. Um, and I can't exactly say, you know, all the reds and blues are soft and the greens and browns or whatever are, are, are hard. It's not like that. There's some of the reds that are soft and some of them that are slightly harder, scratchier. But all in all, it, they're a beautiful pencil to use. Really nice and soft. Uh, I've got some images popping up here of the artwork that I've done. Like I say, it is small because um, I have got so many pencils to review for you. And I would love to be able to do artwork with all of the pencils and all of the other products that I have to review. But I, I, if I do this, if I do artwork with every single product that I have reviewed, it's going to take far too long to get the, the, the products out, to, uh, you know, the reviews out to you. 
So I'm keeping the artwork small. I'm keeping it simple. Uh, so the artwork that you can see at the minute was done with these pencils. Now also as well, um, if you go over to the video, the, the speed drawing off the artwork, you will see it towards the end of it that I use odorless mineral spirits and they work. it works really well with these pencils as well. But uh, I'll show you a couple of different tests here that I've done with them. But before I do that, you can see here that the, the, the little platforms that the pencils come in, you've got two little grips here on either side, lifts the, the tray out. They are quite flimsy, but there's kind of like a suede feel to it. So it keeps the pencils really nice together in there as well. Uh, and there you can see the colors on the bottom. So the bottom of it is the, the greens and earth tones. So a couple of nice grays, really nice, unusual grays that you, would, you wouldn't you would ordinarily find in a 60 set. Uh, and then that's the, the, the top set there. But let me just show you some of the, the little tests that I've done. And I'm, I really apologize here about the, the lighting because this tin is like silver. Uh, so anywhere I have these bright lights, it just reflects off it and it's difficult to see the tin. Uh, so I'll try and put it up there so you can see it a bit better. Okay, so let me move that over to the side. One of the things that I really liked about this tin is that it comes with a swatch. Now, I know that when you get your colour pencils, it's important to do a swatch. And one of the things they say is that try to do the swatch on this, on a similar type of paper, if not the paper that you preferably prefer to use whenever you're doing your artwork. Which is obviously true. That's the best way to do it. But nevertheless, it's really nice that they have this in here so that you can see the colours straight away. Uh, and you can see there that they've done kind of like a, a gradient um, format in the um, swatches. So, so that was a nice touch of thought. So the next thing that I want to show you here is the, the blending and the layering. So I'll zoom in a little bit here for you. Okay, so you can see there at the top I've done... Um, the blue and yellow and it's given me that really nice green they, they blended really quite well together and you can see here as well that the the red and yellow is giving me this uh, nice orange <clears throat> the black that's in the set is an ivory black so it's kind of like because I know a lot of color pencil artists don't you don't like using just a, a black pencil whenever they're doing uh, black they like to undertone it with something like an indigo indigo blue or like a really dark green or something like that depending on what they're doing but this black is a, an ivory black, so it's not a really deep black. So it's it's quite a nice black to use. Uh, if you look at this test here, this is um, the top layer is one light layer. The middle row is five light layers on top of each other. And then the, 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 the final row here is just one heavy application. So you can see how, how bright the pigment is that's in the pencils. Uh, that heavy application that I put down there um, is really nice. Uh, you can almost tell by the way that it's on the paper how how, how well it kind of like it, it took the tooth of the paper away. I pressed down really hard on it, but you can see there the the kind of waxy format that it has. Now these pencils do crumble a little bit. Um, when I first started using them, now I I. I have to admit, I can be a little bit heavy-handed with pencils whenever I'm doing a little, whenever I'm doing artwork, but I try not to be when I'm doing my tests. Um, I try to be as light-handed as I can, um, and and bear in mind that that's the correct way for color pencil artists to do their uh, their artwork. Um, but again, certain colors, certain pigments were crumbly, and others. Not so much. So it goes back to the same as the, the softness, hardness thing of the pencils. Um, so I'm not 100% sure what, what's going on there. But some of the pencils were crumbling. And you'll actually see that in the speed drawing that I've done for you as well. You will see that I'm, I'm constantly brushing off certain pigments. Uh, anyway, so let's get on to the, the black test. So this is just some black paper that I have. 
Uh, you can see here that the white is really nice and opaque, uh, as is with the, the red and the blue. Now, these are actually two shades of yellow, uh, and these are two shades of green. This is a darker green, this is supposed to be a lighter green. You can, you can see it a little bit better in the green, but with the yellows, the yellows are very transparent. Um, that was why I tried two different... This is a darker, this is supposed to be a darker yellow. Uh, but it, it's clear to see the transparency on this on this yellow. But you can see there with some of the other colours, that it's really nice and rich and opaque. Um, it just depends what you're looking for, I guess. But that's, that's the, the results there in any case. So when I was doing this artwork, like I say, um, it's not anything spectacular. It was quite quick. Um, and it is quite small as well because like like I was explaining earlier on I have so many different products that I have to review for you guys um, I, I'm just not going to be able to do artwork for all of them otherwise it will just take far too long but you can see here with the artwork that it's uh, the, the pigments are very bright and vibrant um, I've used three or four different greens here and on the green I used odorless mineral spirits but on the actual butterfly and the, and the flower um, I, I didn't use odorless mineral spirits I just used the, the actual pencils to, to blend and uh, layer and that type of thing so you can see here that it's that like I say the pigments are really nice and bright and vibrant so um, I've got to say when I first started using these I was like I was really pleasantly surprised um, I had heard like I say I had heard so many different things about them from really highly respected people uh, within the art community, uh, the colour pencil community, and it, it wasn't that I didn't believe them or anything like that. I just thought to myself, um, if if they are what, what a lot of people are saying they are, how, how come they're they're not um, they're not out there? They're not as widely. You you don't really hear a lot of colour pencil artists talking about them, which kind of, that baffled me a little bit. Um, but I still don't have an answer for that because. When I've been using them, I have really, really seriously enjoyed using them. Um, so I'm not 100% sure why a lot of colour pencil artists don't use these pencils. I'm sure there are a few of you out there that use them, just haven't really spoke much about them. But um, they're quite an elusive pencil, is what I'm saying. Um, and maybe, maybe, maybe the you know that'll change. Maybe things will change and they'll become a little bit more popular. As they, because like I said, they, they, they used to be, you, you couldn't get them open stock, but now they can. So obviously Royal Talents are doing something in terms of trying to get these pencils out there. If you go over to their website, they don't actually have any reviews or demonstrations of work done with these pencils. And they say that they don't have that. It says on the, on the site, um, just because nobody has done it for them or sent it in or whatever. So, um... I think judging by when I was trying to find the links, they're they're much more popular in Europe and perhaps over in the likes of Japan with security taking over them. But for here in the UK and the US, they don't seem to be that popular. Obviously, if you're in the US and you find them in Jerry's or Michael's or some of those Dick Blicks, some of those other big stores, um, please let me know because when I do my searches and tests i can't obviously check every single franchise or independent art store in the us or the uk so i keep it quite limited to like amazon uh, i find that's just a, a an easier way of doing things but if you're from the us uh and you're a color pencil artist let me know if you find these in your local uh art stores um and put it down in the comment section because then it gives other people a uh, an indication of where they can get them uh, like I say, over in the Art Gear Guide, I have all the prices listed over there. So go across, take a look over there. I've also got links where you can buy the sets. Now, like I said earlier on, I couldn't find the full range of sets, like the 12, 24, 36, and 60 sets um, in the UK and the US. But as those sets become available, the ones that I haven't linked to, I will put the links up to them um, on the review, on the written review. And I'll do what I always do, which is uh, keep a... A close eye on the the cheapest sets that are available on Amazon, and I always change the links. So if you're going to buy something from the Art Gear Guide site, from the the written reviews or the links that I put up, um, I want you to know that I'm always constantly looking on Amazon and changing the links. 
based on whether they're cheaper, you know, a, a cheaper set come up. Anyway, guys, that's it. I've rambled on enough here. Thanks very much for watching this review. Um, like I say, go across to the Art Gear Guide. I have a little bit more extra information in terms of sets, uh, set sizes and the um, pricing, that type of thing for the US, UK and Europe. So go across if you want to have a look at that. Uh, I'll have a swatch over there as well with the different names of the pigments so that you can take a look at what I was referring to earlier on. Uh, also, if you want, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. Again, links for that will be over on the Art Gear Guide or down below in the description. Um, and that's really about it, guys. I have to apologise. I'm in a lot of pain here. <laughs> so I'm rushing through this a little bit. But anyway, thank you so much, guys, for watching this review. Uh, I look forward to seeing you to the next one. Um, I have to tell you, I'm really excited about all the reviews that I have. I'm actually... I've got that many products that I want to get out and kind of, I think I've got too many because I'm not planning things right. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at one set of pencils and thinking to myself, which which set shall I get out there before this set and what have you. And I'm chopping and changing the, the, the layout of them, that type of thing, because I'm really that excited about getting them out. So please bear with us, guys, but there's going to be so many reviews coming uh, and I hope you really enjoy them and find some benefit in them. And I know you do because I get a lot of emails and messages from people saying uh, they get a lot of benefit from the reviews, which I can't tell you how, how happy that makes me. Anyway, guys, thanks very much. And I'll speak to you next time. Bye.